Remember when you were inducted into your current workplace? What did it involve? Was it structured or informal? Was it useful? What parts could have been improved? What were the good parts? Sometimes you need to slow it down, ask questions, make sure things are clear. One of the biggest communication barriers is when speakers and writers assume that the people they are addressing know a great deal more than they actually do. Make sure you read the appropriate MSDS form thoroughly before you decant them. Now you'll find one in the Haskim storehouse behind lower level 9. Got that? Probably not, because the safety officer used jargon and slang. The objectives of this DVD are to Identify characteristics of an effective communicator. Discover the most effective way of delivering information to a group of people. We are going to show you examples of people sending messages. The safety officer addressed participants by name. He explained jargon and technical terms. He demonstrated the equipment he was talking about. He asked questions to clarify meaning. He involved participants in the session. Could you tell them what a material safety data sheet's for? Mm -hmm. At the last It is important to remember that we are all different. We have different beliefs, different mindsets, differing ages, different cultures, stereotypes, assumptions and languages. All of these points might seem like common sense. Might seem like common sense. But do you use them when you deliver your messages? Do you use them when you deliver your messages?